Welcome to the UOUC Talk Show. Our goal with this show is to introduce you to the most interesting people with the most interesting ideas. Welcome, the Earl of Shambana, also known as Jesse. Thank you. What's up, man? I'm doing good. How are you doing? You really want to start with, like, I mean, we, we've talked before, man. You, we, we don't have to start with how you're doing, stuff like that, man. Let's how go, do, let's, let's want, go deep. How do you want to start this? Well? I mean, before you go deep, you must go shallow, am I wrong? Before you, like, get to the core. <laughs> sure. Right. <laughs> okay, okay? Yeah. Uh, my <laughs> name... <laughs> Right, my name is Jesse, okay. Kanya, and I'm a sophomore. We're, we're not doing that either, but yeah, okay. sure, go for it. That was an intro. Yeah, that was an intro. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. My name is Jesse Kanya. I'm a sophomore at U of I, and I'm a civil engineering major. Yeah, that's it. Is that cool? Sounds pretty linked to me, man. Why do you introduce yeah. yourself as um, through your major, but not through who you are? That's a good question, because... Um, mm. Actually, two weeks ago, I was at a general meeting for ASCE. Mm -hmm. and um, What's that? American Society for Civil Engineers. Right. And this one lady came to speak to us um, from this company. And after telling us about all the job opportunities, she's like, but you guys can decide to do whatever you want. And remember that your, your career does not define you. And then I asked my friend, Blake, when you meet someone, the first thing you say is what you do for a living. So, like, if it doesn't define you, why is that the case? You, you asked that? Yeah, I asked my friend that. Damn. So. What did you say? What did he say? Oh, he just laughed. <laughs> but, um. But you were that's a, that's a good question. I have no answer for that. I would say it's kind of like a reflex thing. Just, like, introduce myself like that. Like, let's, let's consider you weren't a part of this college. You were mm. just Jesse as Jesse. How would you introduce yourself? I would probably introduce myself based on what I was doing at the time or what I wanted to do in the future. Like, let's say you're... you're it just gives somebody, like, a surface-level idea of who you are but like, do before you, you can get to the... Like, do you care if you're, like, people know you're a civil engineer or not? Like, does it matter to you? I really don't mind it. Like, I just... It's like, I guess, I guess, like, people say, oh, like, and this is my major, because they, they, have, they have nothing better to say. Like, I never say my major. Well, because I don't have one either. But Because you're an author. Yeah, no, no, no. But I don't, I don't say, I don't you're, say you're, anything. You're, like you're famous, so. No, no, no. I literally, and pe people get super weird. Oh, but like, yeah, what's your major? Like, that's the question they ask. Awesome. Like, once the conversation gets awkward, they say, what's your major? Yeah. Like, what's your major? And I just, I'm myself. And pe people... They just cannot. It's just like a like a bog in their head. They just like <laughs> they get super mad and like they just don't understand it. Who are you then? Who am I? Uh, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Well, are myself, you? man. Like you know who I am. No, like introduce yourself. Like define yourself. If right? I had to introduce myself, yeah. Well, I am Juan David Campolarco. Uh huh. And who are you? Like who? Like, who am I speaking with? So I so I so I can give you a tailored introduction. Jesse Kanya. No, but like, right. like who are like hypothetically speaking? See, for you. he has twisted the question by asking me who I am first, so that he can use my ideas to support his. Okay, listen. So, let's say, let's so say. yeah, so if, if if it's like if a person like cares about like, so it, it depends, right? If it's a long thing, I would say, okay, I was born here and I'm here. I went right. here. Uh, I moved to the U.S. Um, in high school, I learned English. I started companies. I would boom, 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 and then I would kind of like lead into what I'm doing now and what I want to do in the future. Uh -huh. If it's short, I would just say, "Hey, um, Juan David Campolargo. Um, I'm a person who really, really likes computer science, mathematics, and engineering technology. And I'm one, I want to use these three things to make really cool stuff. But that's what I would say. Well, that's a pretty good answer." But I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that, like, oh, I'm, this is my major. Well, because for me, I, I just can't say that because I don't, it would be awkward to say that. Yeah. Because I don't have one. But, yeah. You could be like you're undecided. Yeah. No, but I don't think I'm that, not, like, I'm not going to say that. Like, <laughs> I don't think that sends the right message. Or, like, truly oh, defines, like, okay. I don't think that truly defines him. As a person. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter, man. 
Like yeah. even if you, even if you like. Like okay, you're saying you're you're introducing yourself through your major, but that doesn't say anything about you. That's true. It doesn't say anything about me. But it depends on who you're talking to. I mean, eventually, it's like an icebreaker. Like if you're gonna like talk to um, that per person more, they're gonna get to know you. But, like if it's just somebody like you're talking to like for a couple of minutes, then that's all they need to know. Like. So it's almost as saying nothing because they 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 will never remember you. Yeah, I don't want, I want everybody in my business. So, so you care about that? Uh, kinda, yeah. It's I, like you said, you give a tailored. Well, I think uh, yeah. I guess so, before we get there, how would you introduce yourself? How would I introduce myself? Yeah, just three seconds. One, two, three, go. Um. Okay, I would. If I had to say something on me. No, no, just, just go. <laughs> three, three seconds. One, two, three. And start, and start with your name, of course. <laughs> I am Ariaman. No, you do it for me. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Um, mm -hmm. I would say, hi, I'm Ariaman Patel. Mm -hmm. um, I am from India, uh -huh. and I like learning about science, mm -hmm. technology. Um, I don't know. I would... I would introduce, I would talk about my interests for sure, mm -hmm. but the list is so long that I would just get exactly lost. But I, I, I hear you guys, like what you're saying is actually better, like um, defining yourself by what you like and what you're interested in rather than this like default um, introduction, oh, this is my major and I go here. Yeah. I think that's a better way to like say, but like, um, you also have to, like, um, auto-tune yourself into that, because, like, when you ask me to introduce myself, it's just, like, a reflex, like, well, I, I just I, go straight I, forward, but, I like, didn't it, ask you to introduce yourself. You actually did. Like, let's start with an intro. Did I? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, it's kind of harder when you, um, you're trying to transition to that way of, like, um... You know, describing yourself. Yeah, another another interesting question is. And what? another thing is uh, about uh, what people think is, <laughs> <laughs> um, inevitably, you cannot control about, uh, cannot control what people think about you. It, it will always be whatever they decide to think about you. So I wouldn't say I care too much. But you do. But I don't. I actually don't care at all. Blake. I mean. You have a nice haircut, nice beer, you know, nice things. Uh -huh. like, you do care. That doesn't so, insinuate that how I does, care about what people think. How does... Because like, you could say I don't care, but in a, in a, in a level, you do care. Would you agree well, with me or not? To a certain level, yeah, we do care, like, um, instinctively as humans. Because be, be, I, I feel like, as, like ever since we grew up and stuff, we've been programmed um, into this system of just like um, impressing people, not impressing people, but like it's a results like based kind of system. Like hyping up. Where like, oh, you go to school and you, uh, if you get these grades, um, this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, if you do this, this is going to happen. Like let's let's put let, let let's I'm gonna give you a short example. Like let's say you win something or um let's say something great happens in your life, right? Yeah, yeah. And you've accomplished something. Uh what's the first thing you're gonna do? I don't know. Nothing. I'll keep working. I don't know. If I accomplish something? Something great, something amazing, like I don't know. I would it wouldn't really I mean, I would be happy, but I know the I answer he's looking for, and I'm not gonna give it to you. <laughs> but um, he's smart. What? No, he got me. I, I, he's 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 asking a very like directed question. He's being a he's being tricky here. He's being a clever. How am I being tricky? He's cunning, cunning is the right word. How am I being tricky? Listen, I, I know what you're asking. Like, for you, me, you, you I get, would you, not. I would not just go and post on social media. I but I, I wasn't he, go, I wasn't gonna say that. Though. Okay, what were you gonna say? Okay, let's let's put the social media out of this. Let's say we're in an age without social media, okay. and you've achieved something great. Uh, let's say you graduate. What happens? I would go eat. <laughs> right. 
there's that you have a graduation party, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think. Right. And would you invite? My Twitter followers? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Friends and family. You know, like, it's like a way to let people know, hey, I did this thing. Let's right. celebrate. It's like a ritual thing for some reason. I don't know. For some people. Exactly. So. Exactly. So you have a graduation party. You invite people. And everybody's like, what? Congratulations. Like, it's, it's like deep rooted within us to like care to some extent about what people think. Because, okay, imagine you graduated. Leave, I'm leaving social media out of this again. And okay, did you post a picture once you graduated from high school? Not really. Because it works differently you, uh, back there. Anyway, did you, did you or not? I didn't. Okay. How about, I guess, yeah. Okay, good. I did. We don't really graduate from high school, per se. We... Do you get a haircut or something at least? Or? No, we get out of high school and we wait for the results of all our final exams. Okay. Uh, if you fail, you, you don't graduate or what? I mean, uh, if you fail, some people like go back and like repeat okay. high school. Fair enough. But I mean, yeah, of course, if... Do you pass? I actually did. Okay. <laughs> very highly. But I didn't need to like post my picture because... I was in the newspapers already, so. <laughs> Legit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Oh, well. Uh, my point was, um, just imagine, like, you graduate and you don't tell anybody. Let's say you just, I, you don't tell anybody, you just graduate and you move into, like, work. How would you feel? Nothing. I don't know. I mean, I guess I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. I also don't see it. Like, I see what you're saying and... I see, I understand that point. And I think a lot of, a lot of people are like, you need yeah. to tell people, like, so you, know, you feel good. Yeah. But I think it's actually better to not tell anyone, just like, because, like, are you doing it for you or are you doing it for others? I feel like you're definitely doing it for you. But, but like, that if you, the minute you tell people, boom. Because now, if you don't do what you, what you said you were going to do, or, mm -hmm. then it was like, oh, I studied civil engineering, I studied mechanical engineering. Right. The minute you don't want to do that anymore, and like, oh, I thought you were, I thought you were mechanical. So, like, now, like, that thing is like inside your head. So like right. that will create resistance in case you want to do something else. Okay, resistance, I hear you. Okay, I was saying that um, I feel like it's deep rooted within us to like care to some yeah. extent. Some people care about it too much that it becomes bad in a way. Uh, but I feel like um, like everything else in it's in a subtle amount, in a controlled amount, it it can be useful. Do you get what I'm saying? But like, obviously, yeah, yeah, I'm doing most of this stuff for me. So most. What about the tiny part you're not? All this stuff for me. Are, are, are you in it for your mom or for your future wife? I mean, I mean, yeah. As people, we're social animals. So like, some of the stuff we do is not does affect other people. So. Definitely some of the stuff I'm doing is for other people. Yeah. I mean, I know your stories on Snapchat. They're definitely for, I mean, they're not for me, but they're for me. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, like, wh which stories, though? Well, I'm just saying, I, I don't know, because you post some crazy stuff, but I'm, I'm only saying the pre learn ones. The, the pre learn ones? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of like... So I have, a, I have a professional private story in Snapchat. Oh, you have, you have a private one. It is a private, you never noticed it was a private story. Where there's only a few people on it. Damn. So I just like post professional stuff on there. Okay. That's it. Wait, so I'm not on the private one? You I are. Thought, thought that's we're, the one. we're friends, bro. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay. He's just playing with me. I, I he plays with me a lot. <laughs> plays with people a lot. Yeah. I, I, I actually didn't think it was private. Okay, okay. Yeah, but so like, what were yeah. you saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know. I, I, I <laughs> talked about so much stuff, I lost track. What were we talking about before? Prairie Learn. What, what's, what's up with Prairie Learn? <laughs> like, what's up with that? You were saying something about, like, you started with some private stories. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just a professional part of the story. That's it. It's not about Prairie Learn. Okay. Yeah. Okay, don't you think it's weird that 
you know, uh, three of us here, uh -huh. and we're all born outside the U.S. I was born in the U.S. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, like, okay, but like, I, I go <laughs> okay, with but like, We all spent yeah, but like, majority but you didn't, of our like, lives you didn't, like, outside You were born here, but you left, like, six months later. Yeah, they deported me. I'm playing, they didn't deport me. Okay. Yeah. But like, okay, we, we <laughs> spent majority of our lives outside the U.S. I go with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What does it say about anything? About you and your future and how you're working? How, I guess, how, how does it affect your day-to-day -day life? Does it affect anything? I mean, you seem pretty American to me, but in a way you're not. I do? Like. That's crazy. No, you're the first person to say that. Uh, like, I wouldn't be able to tell, oh, this guy is from this place. Oh. Like for both of us, like probably, like I mean, probably he he he's become like really like like American. yo and like he's uh, become American. <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> so he definitely became like you know yo he like whitewash. Yeah, that's maybe maybe. Here, bro. No uh, one's whitewashed here. Huh? No, but he, he he in a way that's good, right? He lives here, so he um, culturalized. I mean, it's integration. It, it, it eventually happens. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm I'm saying it's bad. Whether you like it or not. But for you, I wouldn't be able to tell like, oh, this guy's like from you know. from Wakanda. Right, it's it's Uganda, by the way. He just calls it Wakanda. Uh, hey, listen, I right. never said anything like that. So calm down. Okay, so so question. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Question. What was your question again? <laughs> how does, you know? How does? How does living outside the U.S. once you come back, like how how like how does that affect you? How did it affect me when I came here? Like like now like yeah, you're not just. You have a different perspective because you see, you saw like in Uganda, right? You saw like struggles, mm. you saw like hardships, you saw like. I saw a lot of nice stuff too. Damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a stereotype speaking. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. But like, you see different things. Like people work usually a lot harder. Maybe. Really? It? Well, I guess. Okay. I'm, let, I'm, let him say. Okay. Listen. I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking for my country, right? Like right. here, like a lot of people are like a lot more comfortable, right? right? I'm not saying. I don't know. I haven't been there, so I don't know. Right. I'll tell you a crazy story about. And I'll start with the work. Um, believe it or not, okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna separate separate um, in, say, into like say. different yeah, yeah, yeah. classes of like working people. Uh, we'll start from the bottom tier, like poverty and stuff. Do you have a K system? A caste system? I'm just like oh, okay. generalizing got stuff. It, got it, got it. Let, let's say the poorer people in Uganda work way harder, right? And then as you go up, middle class and richer people, the amount of hard work, like, decreases. Uh, but, like, comparing the middle class here and the middle class there, or, like, the rich people here and the rich people there, um, here, people just, like, work harder, generally. Like, believe it or not, like, Way, like, way yeah, harder. Like, I see what you're saying. Like, no matter the status or whatever, like, you usually work hard anyway. Like, oh, yeah. it's like, you can, you have to, right? Like, your job. Yeah, here in the U.S. And that's one thing that surprised me is that people just, like, actually, they, like, actually put the work in. Um, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not saying everybody from Uganda is like this, but, like, yeah, okay. a that's lot of people are, um, they, they're, like, kind of lazy, you know? Like, it's a thing to, like, show up late, like, and people won't mind it, you know. Yeah. Uh, you see how we got, like, a 9 to 5 and you got to clock in. There is no, like, established system in most workplaces where they're going to be like, oh, he clocked in late. Like, they'll just, like, show up to work anytime they want and leave when they want. And um, I feel like that's a big, like, it, 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 it like stops us from like you know advancing and, like progressing um but, like here uh like people put the work in and then when it's time to like you know rest they go and do that like everything here is like much more organized that's mm. that's what i would say that's true yeah, yeah. I, I would i would yeah i think that's generally true yeah and then uh in terms of the struggle yes there is struggle um like, for example, I went to Birdie High School, and, um... Really? Yeah, I did go to So, you live there? Uh, yeah. I guess, yeah. like, what do you mean by boarding? I guess... Boarding, boarding you where, you, like, you don't see your parents for, like, three months. You did that? Yeah. Uh, we have, like, a couple of visitation days when they would, like, come and see yeah. us. 
uh, at this high school, we got to wear a uniform. They don't allow, like, um, smartphones or anything or, like, phones at all. We can't, uh, they don't allow, like, appliances to, like, cook or anything. So it's just, like, like, you go there for one thing, to just, like, study. Hmm. And, uh, I mean, we play sports, like, do a bunch of other stuff. But, like, the main focus of this was just, like, you know, studying. So, in the end, it kind of, like, makes you a very rigid person. Um, Is it rigid? Yeah. I try not to I be. I say so, yeah. But, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, there's no... And, um... We have computer labs, right? Like, they're only open, like, two hours a day. On top of that, there's no, like, real internet access. Because, like, oh, we've got to protect the kids from, like, social media. Yeah. They're going to, like, watch porn or something. Like, it's it's kind of, I'll, I'll call it backward, to be honest. And you're studying from, like, 7 a.m. in the morning to 5. And then when you get off class... They give you like two hours to rest and then you gotta come back at night from eight to ten. And remember that we're like eighth graders, ninth graders. Like you do this for like six years of your life. So I would, that that was my high school experience. But like the thing is, if at, at first it's bad because like you're adjusting to it from um elementary, but then you get used to it. And in in that environment, that situation, we still found ways to, like, have fun and, like, you know, like, make friends with each other. And, like, like we, we, we were still happy, generally. And, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Like, I can't, I can't talk about my high school and be like, oh, like, oh, my God, it was such a bad experience. I actually enjoyed high school, so. Yeah. Is it common to for most people to go to boarding school or? Yeah, and we have. Um, Why is that? I was just like a thing. So are yeah. there like more boarding high schools than like normal high schools? Boarding high schools are the normal high schools there. Oh. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, I, we, you know why? Like, is that a culture thing or? I guess it is because like about? we're colonized by the British. Oh. That was a system they introduced, and it's been there since mm. they left. So, like, the, um, I mean, we have international schools now, but, like, they're super expensive, whereby the average Ugandan family cannot afford that. So it's just, like, the rich who, like, take their kids there. And in our case, at least, the international schools, I mean, it's a similar system to, like, what you guys have here in the U.S., like, you know, study from, like, 7 to 3 and, like, have recess. You can wear whatever you want to school, take your phone, stuff like that. But what happens in most cases is that those kids end up, like, not taking school that seriously. And in most situations, in, in Uganda, again, they, like, drop out. and like It's crazy. So... Some of them, like, do, like, graduate and come here. Because, like, most of them, like, um, when they graduate, they don't go to, like, university there. They go to university abroad or university here. So, yeah. How common is it for students to usually, like, study abroad after they graduate in high school? I would say it's getting more common. Um, but still, on a scale, like, if you... If you get, like, all the students who graduated high school, like, let's say, in my year, the percentage is still pretty small, but it's going up. It's, it's like, out of every 100 students, only one will be flown out. So, okay. yeah. yeah. So, you didn't have social media until when? When was your first account on social media? Uh, seventh grade. Okay, so you had social media. Yeah, we'd be having so Yeah. But, like, I would say it's... Uh, my exposure compared to like, wait, wait. listen, listen, my exposure. <laughs> Were you just Nikki in, in your boarding school and you had a phone, like hit a hidden phone or something? No. Oh I'll, man. I'll never do that. You sure? Yeah. Right. I'd say my exposure compared to like the average American kid is like way less. Cause like, Probably. remember we'd go to school and like have all those months without our phones. 
yeah. come back for like three weeks, see what's going on, talk to our friends, and go back. So uh, for for a bigger majority of our lives, we weren't exposed to social media, and I'm thankful for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's really a good thing. Has that like discipline that was instilled in you throughout high school, like, is is that helping you now? Because now you have access to all the social media and you can it, it go on it. It kind of is. Okay. I would say it is, but like, again, it is hard, like, transitioning from that kind of environment because, like, um, you, you're moving from a restricted environment to environment where you have, like, the freedom to do whatever you want. Right. And um, this is actually, like, this is, uh, I, like, Alan Watts was talking about this. He was talking about, like, how the human race the consequence of like repre repressing uh different stuff so like for a long time we repressed like we were, we were like we we're restricted to like do a bunch of stuff so like the more you do that like what like like having phones on social media like stuff yeah, okay, okay. uh let's so like the more you do that like the anticipation for like like when we, we couldn't wait for like holidays because like oh mm. we're gonna have our phones we're gonna watch TV. That's another thing. Like, bro, we couldn't watch. Like, we had to like, we couldn't watch TV. Mm. It's insane. Uh, you're like, oh, I can't wait for holidays because like, oh, I'm gonna have like technology finally. So like, the more you press that, like, the anticipation for all um, the luxuries that come with freedom increases. Mm. So like, once you get out of that restricted environment. Um, I would say the first, um, like that first phase of time when you're out is, it's pretty bad because like, you're just like trying to compensate for all the time you lost without these things. Do you so. usually lose social contact when you're in these high school? Like, is there a way you can still contact like your Friends family? at other schools? Yeah, or friend. So we could call them. We had like pay phones, so you could call them or you could ask a teacher. But you see the thing with asking teachers, the teacher would be like, oh, the teachers were really, um, I don't know, they had, uh, they had huge egos. Because having authority over a bunch of kids mm -hmm. gave them a sense of like self-worth. So like most of the time they'd just like walk over us, like you'd have to like really beg, beg just to use a phone to like talk to your parents. But like uh, we had this pay phones where you could like go and you know call them, and uh, for the rich kids at least, their parents could like you know sometimes like you know pay the teachers and like come mm -hmm. and see their kids whenever they want. A lot a lot of people used to um, fake illness just to go home. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> uh, You're honest, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. And then uh, if you want to talk to somebody in another high school, we had, it was very old school. Like, we used to actually write mail, like, mm -hmm. sent through the post office and stuff. But, you yeah. know, despite that, you're, you, you're pretty fire on social media. On TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, really? Snapchat, you're I'm not pretty <laughs> fire. Like, I'm not really. Like, you know, so the thing with your tweets and stuff like that mm -hmm. is that you know what, you know how to say, funny stuff like you're very thoughtful in a funny and like more like popular way which is very hard to do mm -hmm. because you could be really smart and be like completely like disconnected from society but you're not like you're really you understand like social like you understand people and like culture really well mm -hmm. these because you can make these jokes that are really actually really intellectual and, like very like thoughtful and you say like i said joke mm -hmm. But in reality, it's like some really like deep thing, hmm. where I think it is. I don't know. Maybe for you, just like oh, you're just writing that random stuff. I'm just trying to spread happiness, man. Actually. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when you laugh, you're happy. So I'm trying to spread happiness. Why did you take this initiative? Why did? Oh okay, wait. So I'll use TikTok. Uh, so uh, I started TikTok just, I don't know, just for fun. I was bored in my room. I just made a couple of TikToks. Like, that was it. 
like I re- I didn't really like have an objective. Oh, that oh I want to like go super viral, right? Like yeah, because like I used to look at me. Oh, I used to look at memes a lot, and like oh anyway, I'm I'm gonna like go back back back. So when I first yeah, came yeah, here, yeah. I didn't come to school directly. I was in uh I was in Washington. Everett. Yeah, in Everett. I was doing classes online because my parents changed their, um, they changed their mind last minute because they're like, oh, you're going to get COVID and stuff. They were like super scared, like, because they sent me, like, as I told you, like, the system in Africa means everybody's like hella protective. So like sending me to a different country on my own was, it was a big, big step. So they were like scared. They were like calling me all the time. Oh, are you okay? And like the pandemic was still pretty, um, it was a it was a big deal at the time. So like, they were cautious. They're like, "You're not going to school." I'm like, "Okay." I was sad. I was like, "Damn," because like U of I was like the only one of the only colleges allowing people on campus for a fall semester. Mm-hmm. And like, I, I wanted to make new friends. I wanted to meet great people like you guys. And I wasn't able to do him. that. <laughs> so calm down. You, you just met him today. So I wasn't able to do that. Right, so right. I'm like, uh, I met you. I met you like in the first couple of days. And like, oh Jesse, like. I'm talking about fall. Yeah, like spring. Like, you came back in spring. Yeah, but like in fall, I wasn't able to. So. Oh really? Yeah, I was like, damn. I'm just gonna like stay locked in for the next, I don't know, four months. Um, I mean, I did try to like. I think there were like some, I don't know, group chats or something, trying to make friends there, but like it's not, it's not a genuine connection, like you know, talking to like a person, like having an actual conversation. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I had school, but like school wasn't enough. So, as a man of um, passion and hard work, I decided to get a job. My first job was at Amazon. Yeah. Really? That was a bad idea. Anyway, no offense to Amazon. It was I I, I, know, know. I know people at Amazon. Just speak speak up, man. Yeah. Like, go on. You say you say what you want to say. I bet that was a bad idea because, because first of all, that was my first job because like um so in, Af- in Africa we don't like see all you guys I mean people in the US like got a job when you're sixteen. You can work like, I think after that, that, that high used school. to be the case. Not anymore. But people are not getting jobs anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. People are. If they no, want. but like, like in like before, like in the eighties and stuff, like literally eighty percent of the kids. Like there's a like an like an like an interesting like data like statistic. Mm-hmm. Like people like always like sixteen, boom, get a job. Right. But like now it's not a thing anymore. People are just because like you just you you're not getting paid as much and like things are a lot True. more expensive. But it's not even worth to like get a job or anything anymore. Yeah. But I I, I know what you're saying. Like people like. And I said, that's why people like your licenses are sixteen, so they can yeah. just have a car. People and just get jobs go. early, right? But like now, it's not people. People like a lot of people don't even have licenses any, like licenses anymore. They don't mm-hmm. even know how to drive. Yeah. Um. Anyway. So like, in Africa, a lot of people get their first job after graduating. Yeah. Yeah. Like after like, masters and stuff. Like that's when they get their very first job. Mm. And I was getting my first job after high school, and it was like a super big transition. But that was okay, though. That's the American experience, man. Yeah, that was okay, though. I was like super excited. So I was, I was making money. I was like, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, but uh, how much? How much? I don't disclose them out. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm kidding. But Mr. Bezos pays well. But it was, it was, it was hard work. I'm not gonna lie. What was your job like? Where I was in the warehouse. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, what do you want, free money or something, bro? <laughs> Gotta work. <laughs> True. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I would, like, look at a lot of memes, like, at my break at work or, like, when I come back home. Like, that was... I actually joined, joined TikTok, like, when I came here first. Were you not studying at the time? Uh, I was. So, it was oh, work, so were work in school. Work, memes. Like, it was, it was online. Got it, got it. So, it wasn't too bad. Um... Right, so, uh, so yeah, uh, memes, right, memes. So that, my first TikTok was a meme. It was actually, like, a little Twitter. It was, like, a meme, but... You are a meme in a way. Like, I, could, I could screenshot you and, like, you send it to him, and you're, like, just 
Is like, that a meme? So yeah, like, I just, I was like, I'm just gonna make this. And uh, I made like a couple, and then uh, one of them went viral. And I guess no. that okay, just- how many views, man? It was only 11.5K. Okay, okay. But it just like, I don't know, I started doing like on a more consistent basis. And then it just became like a thing for me. Now you're and saying, okay. like, oh, okay. finish what you were saying? Yeah, like it started out as something that I wasn't really taking seriously. Like, I, would, I would just like make them for fun. And yeah. You think it was because of a p the positive feedback loop from the app itself? Like, I'm going to be honest, yes, I do think it was. Right, because you, you didn't have any reason to continue, like, to continue doing this, but the fact that you were getting all of these views and... No, it was, there was, it was the second, because it was only my second video that, that went viral. I was like, that's... That was quick, too. That was, yeah, so it, it, was, like was, a, it was a quick, it, it, was, it, it was that rapid um, response. It gave me the perception that, oh... I do this again the algorithm is crazy that's what i'm saying like yeah, yeah that, that's why so and you're not making tiktoks now right you know that or not i'm not making them as frequently no no i mean me me you know I'm, i told you remember i'm making tiktoks now oh uh, you know or not i know you forgot okay um no. uh, damn so <laughs> so i'm making tiktoks now right yeah and i just post i just i never go on the for you page or anything it's right. just it's bad like i don't want to be on there I just why don't you want to be on the for you page no, it's, like my videos, rabbit hole. my videos, sure, like yeah, all day long be in there. How's but it a rabbit hole? For you, Paige? Because mm -hmm. you're just going to keep going down and down and down. I mean, it, it depends. Um, so the algorithm is like tailored for, it's tailored for like what you like, like the kind of, and like it uses app tracking and a bunch of other stuff. So it's, it's, it's like, it's crazy, like it. It kind of like mirrors you. You know, shit, yeah. Yeah. So that's why you're going to keep What's scrolling. What's in your uh, For You page? Like, what I like to do is, like, I like to, I don't know whether this actually works, but, like, I try to, like, confuse the algorithm. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> like, trust me, like, I just go and search random stuff that I actually don't like. Like and what? Like, like what? Like it. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> random stuff and like at the end of the day my for you page is just like scattered and not coordinated and it's definitely not me so i lose interest pretty quick what's on it oh it's a bunch of different let me see you want me to pull up my tiktok right now <laughs> oh god this is what shows up. Hopefully it's not explicit or anything. No. Nah. So, first video, it's my friend. He has a clothing company. So he's advertising that. Second video, top five Ethiopians of all time. Why are they showing me that? And then, third video, when Kanye heard Whiskey for the first time. I would definitely like that because I like Kanye. But you see, it's just like a bunch of like, different stuff that's not coordinated so or you think eventually not. i will lose interest but okay because at first my tiktok um my uh th the amount of time i spent on tiktok was crazy it was it was too much and uh it was definitely affecting me in different ways like i was like getting other stuff done when i probably should have been getting other stuff done it was taking a lot of time so like i had to like cut that down so yeah, um, do you think it's somewhere in the algorithm that if if you're a new user and you post something, yeah, they automatically give you a viral video to like make yeah. you stay there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think like it's just a second video, right? Like you wouldn't like if it was on YouTube, you wouldn't expect it to just blow up immediately. Yeah, it would take time. Right, like, like it was my second video. I was like, oh, what the hell? Like, right. So I, like just to just to ensure that the people who are joining TikTok stay on TikTok. Yeah. That, that dopamine rush I got from that was crazy. I was they're like, just giving you like a little, a little token. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, see, after that, the videos after that 
didn't go viral. Right. So I was like, oh, what's wrong? Yeah, but but then you think that you already have a viral video, video so this can't yeah. happen again. So the, so it just well, like, but like, how do you know it's not because you, because your video wasn't good? Because I think it has to do with, uh, with the quality of the stuff. Yeah, too. that's true. Like, can you just be like, TikTok, you just give you random numbers. It also has to be good. Maybe? It gotta be good. Like, there's, that's like stuff I learned along the way. The small, like, tricks that you can use, like, make your videos go more viral. Damn, so you're like a TikToker now. So you didn't research it at some point. I did a little research at some point. Yeah. So you do want to go viral. And you're kind of viral already. You've got, you've, you've got like, what, three videos with, like, over 500,000 views? Uh, yeah. I've got one video with over a million views. Okay, sorry, then. Yeah. Do you want to get, like, sponsors, sponsors and stuff like that and, like, make it a full-time thing? I wouldn't want to make it a full time thing. I would. I. I don't think that would be something I'll be. Interested Do you like in. civil engineering? I love civil engineering. I love building things. Did that sound convincing? Uh, not really. But yeah, I, mean, I don't. I don't really. Yeah. See, civil engineering. Um, when I was choosing a major, um, I didn't really know what engineers did. Civil engineers, to be more specific, because um, well, here's what happened. When I finished high school, I had one month to apply to like all the universities I, int I was interested in. That's, that's rough, man. Only one month. And do I had you, to do, do food and stuff or? SATs in like a week. So I only studied for my SATs in like one week. Damn. And then after that, I had to apply. So like most of, like when I was applying, I wasn't going to be like undecided because like I just, I don't like being unsure of like stuff, right? So I had to make a decision, you know, there and then. Of, I knew I wanted to do something related to engineering. I just didn't know what type of engineering I wanted to do. And I wanted to make adequate research, but like the time just wasn't there. And uh, I just went with civil because this is crazy. But um, so back in Africa, when when you get the highest score in um, high school, the final exams. There's like, so like you can only do civil if you get like the highest number of like yeah, I think points. Yeah, just like that too, right? No, not for like the, if you take the DJ double E. Yeah, I mean that's for like getting into the engineering. School, yeah. But you can do like CS is the CS is the toughest to get into. Yeah. Yeah. So like civil is the toughest to get into, followed by I don't know electrical and all other types. But like civil is the toughest to get into. So I'm like, I bet I'm pretty smart. I'll do civil. That's the only reason I chose civil. But like, um, when I got more time to do more, do more research, I found myself having um, more interest in kind of clone engineering. And um, it was, <laughs> uh, so do there was a time where I was conflicted between uh, should I stay with civil? Or, or should I go with mechanical? I was, I was like telling myself, do I really just want to like, do mechanical, just like, I don't know, do, do I really not want to do civil just to show, because um, my parents really supported me, and um, I was like, maybe I want to do mechanical just like to show my parents that I'm different or something, so it was like constant conflict, I was asking myself all these questions, and um, eventually it became too late to switch majors, I mean it's not too late to switch majors, but like, I wouldn't want to switch a major now. So, yeah. That's where I'm at right now. But what I'm really interested in, um, generally as a person, uh, I like, like, I like doing, I don't know, math and physics. So, that's where I, that's how I came into engineering. Do you, do you think this is a day or something? Or like... This, like these are my interests. Like this is this is what I'm doing. Like, like you, you asked me, you asked me, do I like civil? Is it, a, is, it is this a date or what? It's not a date. Okay, listen. It's more like two what? two cups, bad cup, and good cup. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> Wait, do what? Two cops. <laughs> Just like ask me a bunch of questions. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. Listen, what's something you believe that you see most people? Is that something you believe that most people like would disagree with you? Like on campus or like in general, like in the internet and stuff like that. Because like you have a lot of things that he's, like he's so trying to he's trying to get me to say some controversial controversial no, stuff. Out no, here. no, no, not really. Like a lot of your TikToks and um, 
and oh yeah, all my TikToks on, on on Twitter. Are they're jokes. like they're like they're not jokes. They're they are, but like they're not. But you're you're saying stuff disclaimer, like disclaimer. All 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 my TikToks are like jokes and like. Listen, no one, right. no one, no one, no one's watching about this, man. This. Come on, just talk to yeah. me. Talk to me, man. I am talking to you. Like, legit. Like, all right. so like disclaimer, all, like, all who of my cares stuff? about disclaimers, man? Like, if you're doing right. stuff, you cannot just, like, like, hedge it. You're doing, you're doing some stuff, and, like, that, that's you. Like, <laughs> right. Like, you're not going to be in front of the judge. Oh, no, that was a joke. Like, no. Own it. That's why people put disclaimers and stuff. No, owner, man. Own it. That's, that's why that's you. You're that's why people... Listen, okay. Anyway. Um, music, What's videos and stuff, and like movies. They can be like this character. Like the Spider Man movie, <laughs> th there would be like everything in this movie was fictional. Anything that looks like. No, that's like, like real like life. Anything. Like for every, every media. Like that you they're create. literally in New York. There's a like, reason why that disclaimer is there. Okay, but like. If, I, I, mean, I want to yeah, have yeah. a conversation with you. I don't want to have right, like, right, okay. the, the marketing. <laughs> okay, okay, here. okay, okay. Like, I want to be like. Jesse, the Errol Chimbana. Like, this, <laughs> right. I don't want to talk to you like the, the marketing department. Hey, can I get an appointment with Jesse? No, no, no. I'm, I have you right here. I bet. Like, talk to me, man. Or him. I'm not talking till I get a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your question, though, about the Twitter stuff? Like, what's something you believe in, like, you, you think it's, it's true and, and or right, but most people would not agree with you? A lot of people would agree with you, or many people. I don't know. I agree with a lot of people, so I don't think there's oh. nothing. <laughs> what he's trying to say is like, what is something that you believe in that is like just out there? No, not necessarily, but like. Hmm. This is like, what do you mean, like out there? It's like okay. I'll give you an example. I just thought of. So you have a TikTok. Right. Jesse on TikTok. Okay. He said this. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> he said, like, oh, like, you don't need to, like, I don't know, like, dye your hair or, like, do anything like that. You just need to see a therapy. Like a therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that one. Like, stuff like that. Like, there's a little oh, yeah. you. Like, so like, the TikTok was, like, uh, uh, you don't need to dye your hair or get more piercings. You just need therapy. Do you yeah. think that's, like, out there a little bit? I, I just thought it was funny. It is funny. Yeah. Isn't it true, in, you know, in a way? I mean, it was a jokes, but like, listen, all good jokes contain true shit. That's all I can say. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh God, that that was a that was a really you remembered that? Wow. Okay. Okay, I I think you're you're the only person who like like I follow you. I, I don't yeah. use the app or anything, but like you show up on the following thing. Oh, it was it was kind of like satire, but like, I'm not I'm not. Listen, bro, you said it. I'm like, not trying to say that like. Sure, like I I'm not, trying to say. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to say like people like dye their hair like, <laughs> or like get tattoos or piercings like why actually. So, wh listen, wh why are you so worried, man? No I'm one, I'm not wor I'm not no worried. Watching this thing. <laughs> like I don't know why you're so worried, man. Like. Right. Come on, like this. When I'm talking? running for president in 2050, they're gonna bring up this video and be like, "This is why Jesse shouldn't run for president." So. I'm protecting my culture. I don't think we'll be there. I don't think, hopefully, we don't, that culture won't be there. Like, I'm asking. I, don't think I, we'll I gotta be the second black president of America, so. You don't think there will be another black president before 2015? Yeah, until my time, because, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, who knows, but I gotta be the president, bro, eventually. You don't think I'm serious? No. You tell us. Wow. Anyway, so that TikTok, uh, you really want me to explain that? To wow. Uh, okay, no, no, cool. no, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll explain it. No, no, we don't. No, 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 no. no. Let's, let's, I, I want to ask you something. Right. So, um, are you interested at, at sex tonight? Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was, that's insane. I don't know. I'm going to be down, but anyway, what? <laughs> now I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> so you're, you're talking about your interest, right? Wait, what do I believe in? I didn't answer that question. I'm sorry. What do I believe in that's like, <laughs> that other people would disagree with? Uh, it is funny because like, I, I, I did the same thing to like, to Aria, right? And Aria was like, he thought he was legit. 
And he's like, oh, yeah, man. What's your name? And, like, completely legit. And, like, he thought it was, like, so after he left, he was, like, hey, what are you telling that? Oh, my God, oh, my God. He got super, super scared. Because, like, he completely played it, like, oh, yeah, man. Like, oh, yeah, I'm Jesse. Nice to meet you. Right. Yeah, I'll be down for tomorrow. He was, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamas. Yeah. All right. saying? What do I believe in this? totally out there no 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 i don't think like this this is pretty huge but i don't think time travel is real okay okay continue your that's, question, that's, question. <laughs> okay well, let's elaborate right time travel no why do you think that what what basis do you have for that time like I, why it's not real yeah like what are your the like, grand, what's your thought process the grandfather paradox okay the what the the grandfather grand- paradox. So you go back, yeah. You go back in time, right? It's like nineteen eighty four, and you kill your granddad. So now he's dead, you, right? You wouldn't exist. You wouldn't exist. So you die. That's so, the paradox. But see, the thing is, you don't exist. So like, you can't go back in time to kill your grandfather because you don't exist. Okay, but like, you cannot. But you need to entire. exist. You need to exist, and then wait, wait, wait. It, you would die at some point. No, 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 no. Like, you would disappear. Like, have you seen, like, Back to the Future? Okay. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> That's the movie, bro. Okay, but, like, movie contains truth, Like, the too. concepts like, are it, it, flawed, it could, bro. Yeah. Like, they, be, they told us the Hulk became the Hulk because of gamma rays. If I go to gamma rays right now, like, I'll get cancer. So, okay, listen. Okay, but but right. it makes sense, though, right? It could be true. Like, you don't know. You like, kill your granddad, like, you cease to exist because, like, you were never there in the first place. But... Give me a more scientific. Okay, but how about the, the the multiverse though? Like you, you could have like different universes and like stuff like this. A so, like, more scientific. In your universe, you would die. See, I have two hypotheses. There's that, and then there is um the alternate reality theorem, which I think makes more sense. Is that when you go back in time and kill your granddad, you've now created an alternate reality, that's like separate from the timeline. You're coming from. You're coming from, and like. Like I believe that those are parallel. You can, you like, you cannot go back into that now. Like, once you clear your granddad, you're there now, and that's like it has happened. It's not like you're gonna like, it's not like Thanos. You're not gonna disappear. Like you've killed your granddad, and uh, that's it. You're there in 1984, and then if you travel back from that point to a different point in time, you're creating another timeline which is now different from these two realities um, that you had before. Right. But so I think that makes more sense. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that time travel doesn't exist, right? Because that's not a valid argument for time travel not existing. Oh, time travel not existing. That, that was a joke. It was, it's not my <laughs> most controversial <laughs> opinion. <laughs> What's yours? What's something you believe in that a lot he of people thought, don't? He really thought you were like 100% legit. No, like, cause he I, was going at you. No, 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 because I'm just curious. Okay, on, 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 okay, on a serious <laughs> basis about the topic of time travel, um, I, would think, I think it's impossible. Because first you have to like, travel at the speed of, not even just half the speed of light. Right. Like, we, we've okay. not achieved that yet. But you, can, you, you cannot just say something is impossible because we haven't. Do you, you think all the physics we have right now is like all we have? Like, that just cannot be true. It's right. like saying, like, in 1900s, before Einstein, mm. this is all we know about physics. There's, there's, there's got to be more stuff. Uh, out, we don't, I don't think we know all the physics out there. Well, if time travel so was like, real, somebody in the future would have come here already. Maybe. Okay. Okay, like, that's, not, that's and, not... And if they... Okay, maybe they do come here and, like, keep it a secret, but why? Well, like, don't you think a lot of, like... That that could be that could be interesting actually. Like a lot, like some some people are like just have like this crazy idea, so like have this crazy technology and like mm. that could be that could be part of it. Like these people just come, like, come from the future, and like they just like create this crazy stuff mm. that no one thought it would be possible. So maybe right. they, they have some insider knowledge. Oh yeah. So the name maybe right, but like okay, like let's say you go back in time. You cannot bring anything with you, only what you know, and like okay, so what would you invent? Uh, general like, so general like, relativity. If so you, you go back no to like eighteen hundreds, like no, no I, you wouldn't. I, I wouldn't, because like I, no matter how much I like study it, like I I cannot. Okay. There's there's a difference between creation, and 
because like I just I actually like sat down like thought of that like all that stuff happened in his mind. So the way he sees it is different from the way he put it down, and I believe that the way that he pictured that stuff in his mind is like the purest form that cannot be recreated. Even though like I like read all the textbooks and stuff and went back in time and be like, oh, I can like I've discovered general relativity. Like it wouldn't be the same, you know. So, but by to the point of time travel, uh, bro, just think about it. <laughs> just think about it, right? When people say think about it, it's like when the, the moment they're not thinking. <laughs> right. First of all, you think about it. I <laughs> am thinking about it. Let's look at the Earth uh, from a, from an abstract point of view. Wait, did you say from a flat perspective? <laughs> oh no. my goodness! Man. From an abstract point of view, right? Or YouTube is gonna get like, like banned because of the stuff you're saying now. It's just, it's just this rock floating in the middle of space, right? Mm -hmm. Like continuously revolving around the sun. Okay. okay. Yeah. So what? Listen, I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, right? So, actually, let's start with this table. Let's. Let's use a simple thought experiment, right? Um, if we leave this table here for the next four years, what's going to happen to it? Without, like, like doing anything to it, like, just leave this table here for four years. It's going to stay there. Right. It's going to stay there. Like, let's, let's assume all... How do you know you didn't move? We're not going to quantum mechanics Toy right story. now. Three story, three story stuff. He's like, okay. so George Miller, George, I forgot that. George Miller, I don't know. Someone said, if it, if a tree fell, uh -huh. but no one heard it, did it fall? Actually, no. I'm saying something that uh, doesn't make any sense. I said it wrong. I don't remember. Anyway, continue. No, I go. I go. What you're saying, right? I get like if it fell. Like, I was saying like if no one saw it, do you know what happened? Yeah, type of thing. Yeah. So it's all about like. You're saying it's all about, like, perception. Like, what are you saying? Let's say a model. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you got the stable here, and you don't change nothing about it for four years. It's still the same table. Okay. It was, like, four years ago. It's like, time is basically a concept. Okay, but listen up. Time, in order for you to, like... That's, that's with our current math. That's the thing. In order so, for me to like go back to like 2010, um, like me is me right now, go back in 2010, like w will require like all the events that have happened prior to this to like be reversed. Like you, you, you're thinking in you're very, you're thinking in a very Newtonian way. Okay. That's only with the current physics. Give, give, give me the. You need to have imagination. Give me the. You need to have like really. Give me the Heisenberg point of view. The no, I'm not saying any Heisenberg or anything. You said you need to have imagination. Okay. Do you know about complex numbers? Uh huh. What what is that? You know, complex numbers. Complex yeah. does not mean complicated. Complex just basically means real and imaginary. You have right. Two different things. You actually tweeted about it. I did. You so, did. See, I'm I'm his biggest fan. Oh, thank you. Right. So. Complex numbers is something uh -huh. that should be should have been thought to you in high school, like a hundred percent legit. So, you know when when you're doing square roots and like oh you get like a minus one and the yeah. square root is like see, oh see that's the thing that, that's the eye that's imaginary you don't do anything like that. But the thing is the teachers don't know what the hell that means. They have no clue. It's all convention. Like the teachers are gonna tell you. No no I don't care. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not criticizing anyone. Right, right. Just didn't learn it. X whatever doesn't matter. Yeah. But you have complex numbers which are real and imaginary. So for example, a differential equation. Right. You get the two eigenvalues. Right. Usually you have something that is like, you have a real one and an imaginary oh, one. Oh man, I should have studied for this. No, 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 you don't have to study anything. So you just, when you have the, the differential equation, you have one that just like blows up, it diverges, and one that converges. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes or no? Yes. So usually, okay, we only look at this one. Okay, boom, if you forget the other one. But the thing is, a lot of things in this world are complex. Again, I'm saying complicated, complex meaning real and imaginary. Mm -hmm. And when you say imaginary, I'm not saying it's just like, it doesn't exist. It's imaginary. It's just a term, it's that, just you, in your it's mind. A term that you, that you... It's just a thought. No, 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 no. no. Imaginary is a real number, like the others. Yeah. Like, 
It used a bad name too. They gave it a bad name, just like complex numbers. So imaginary is just like a bad name for. Like you need complex numbers to explain many of the real things. Like real things in life, and, we, and because we don't know complex numbers, we just don't see those things because we don't have the language to see it. That's like a real, like legit thing that is concerning, because we don't know complex numbers, so we okay. don't see a lot of the things in life, because we just ha we just don't have a language for it. It's like for for instance. Let's say I don't have an I don't have a name for yeah. I don't have a name for like a watch. Just not having that name for the thing, I just wouldn't be able to like see it. And there's a lot of things in life like that. So you're saying we have a limited perspective because we just have to you don't have the language for in, for instance what I'm saying complex numbers. Oh yeah. And a lot of physics, a lot of things, they're all very com like complex. Again, not complicated, just complex. They have real and imaginary parts. So if you really want to understand like physics and, and, and math and like really know what's up, you need to know complex numbers because that is like you it's see a it's like a gateway. like you're only seeing the real world, but yeah. you're not seeing the imaginary. Again, imaginary doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's imaginary the number that they give this number. It's again, it's kind of weird, but you're not seeing the imaginary part. It's like the so Alice in the in the world in the Wonderland, right? So it's outside like the scope of like human reality. Basically. No, it's there. No, no, we no. just don't see it because no, we, no, we, don't, no, like, we, don't know that we don't have the terms to see it. No, I'm saying it, it is there. Like, human reality does not account for all of no, reality. No, no, it's, it's our human it's just, reality. It's hard to, um, to conceptualize. Get our minds around it because okay. we just not, we didn't, we, it wasn't taught to us. Like, if I told you, okay, here are four mangoes, you would, you would be able to imagine. But if I told you here are square root of minus five mangoes, what would that mean? Jesus. Absolutely horse. My brain hurts. But here's the thing. Right. Here's the thing. Your brain developed a capacity to count. Right. Otherwise, your brain would have to remember how what each mango looked like. And it would have been a mess. Imagining if you were a, a, a uh, how do you call it? A cheap person, like a, a person who like keeps keeps track of the cheap. Miser. Miser. <laughs> a what? Like a pastor or something? I don't know. Like a guy who like who's like looking over the the, the sheep. A oh, shepherd. Sheep. Yeah. I thought you said cheap. No, no, no. A, a sheep. shepherd. A shepherd, right? Right. So the shepherd has twenty-six things. Sheep, 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 whatever. Sheep. Fuck. Okay. Anyway, so, so the person, if we did it, before we had like numbers and a way for our brains to like see that, the shepherd would need to memorize what each one would look like. So imagine that, come a whole mess. Would our like, brains would not be able to scale and have a hundred ships or a yeah. hundred, like whatever. So we only we were limited. Then we invented we invented counting, like the counting and being so we didn't have to like we just like created a symbol that would give to this thing. So we don't oh, have yeah. to like remember what, what each one looked like. The next step was computers. Mm -hmm. Like computers basically do, does the manipulation of the numbers automatically. And the next step is what we decide to the next step will be, which is I don't AI. Know. Yeah, who knows. But anyway, going back to train travel, uh, train travel, time travel, train travel. I don't think we have the, the math and the physics to know that. And it's not about possible or impossible. We just, we just don't have the math. Oh, yeah. and I, I would we, say, therefore, I would say it's not thinking, possible right listen, now. Listen, therefore, just thinking about it is right. a bad question. And a bad question will give you a bad answer no matter what. Like, no matter what. Like, whatever I mean, you he's think. A, he's a smart pers smartest no, person. No, like, isn't it true? Yeah. Like, if you have a oh, bad, yeah, yeah. If you have a bad question, would. like, what? It you gives you a bad answer. I mean, the universe is out there. Uh -huh. we, 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 ju we just need to know what answers, what questions to, to ask. To ask. So, we, we went to this uh, la uh, escape room with a quantum physicist guy. And he literally said, you know, the, uni like, the answers don't really matter. The questions are the important. We need to know what questions to ask. Mm -hmm. So, asking you. Is time travel possible? Bad question. Because you would go back to normal physics and, okay, is it possible? Okay, what does Newton tell me? F so, equals to MA. So what's the right question in this case? Well, the right question would be, why is time travel not possible? No, that's still, right bad, now. That's still a bad question. No, because... Or like, or like, in what in the work conditions would time travel be possible? Right. So then, that, then that would be a good question because you're not asking about the, the stuff itself. You're just asking, okay, what are the conditions we have? And what condition would, would we need using our imagination to make it possible? Like when, when Einstein would say, "Oh, imagination is is the most important thing." Like, you remember what he said or not? Who? Einstein. 
Okay. He says something about imagination is more, is more important than knowledge or something like that. Remember that or not? I do, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So what, when he said... Like he's he, have a lot of uh, thought experiments. Right, so when, when he said that, he didn't mean like, oh, it's just like this quote that we got on Instagram or Pinterest. Right. Like what he literally meant is having this imagination to think of things that could be possible. That's what he meant, literally. Oh, yeah. But of course, imagination that means like, oh, like Toy Story. Like, let's imagine Jesse didn't come today. Let's, yes. And like toys can like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, talk. maybe that's true, right? Maybe I'm, right. But that's what he meant. So we need a lot more imagination than that. And hopefully you can have some imagination when you're building some airports out there. Right. So what do you think, um, first of all, what do you think builds imagination? What do you think kills imagination? I would say one thing that builds imagination is not restricting yourself to what others think or believe in. Just being bold enough to question what you believe in and what others around you believe in yeah. can help you think about what others are not thinking about. You know? And that in itself is a very tricky thing because what everything you told me because you heard it before True. at some point. And every, anything I told you is because I heard it before too, yeah. in a way, right? And the, the, the beautiful part of being a human is that you're able to like integrate a lot of things and make sense of it and say something that is uh, more, like make your own more original or whatever. But like yeah. everything I said is because I've heard it before. So if you want to incentivize imagination or certain types of imagination, you need to be with people who are like, who are a little like... Unconventional. Not necessarily conventional, but like... Like unconventional in a good way. It's like, I don't know, being more exposed to, like, different things. Mm. Like, so I, I, more exposure? Because, like, you could tell me, time travel is not possible, okay, done deal, whatever. But, like, I could be exposed to people who know math really well, and I could get a different perspective, and I could say that what I said to you. Right. So imagination, it's, I think, also being exposed to people who think like that. And that could be in books, it could be in many ways. And there's, there's been a lot of people who are like that in throughout the history of time. Yeah. Yeah, because like you could stay in the same group who believes that time travel is not possible, and you would spend your entire life Thinking believing that, that time travel is not possible. Right, but then you meet someone who thinks that it's possible, like genuinely believes it possible. Mm -hmm. That's when you start thinking. Because while you're in this group, you're not really questioning yeah. what you're believing, right? Because right. you have so many people agreeing with you. You have that confirmation bias in a way that, okay. Echo chambers, man. What? Echo chambers. Sure. That, that are just echoing what you are saying. But just one person you meet who, who can like truly tell you that, okay, no, what you believe in is wrong. That will, that will mess you up because... At some point, even though you say no to that person, okay, I don't believe in you, you're wrong. I have so many people believing this is, and this is not possible and you're definitely wrong, right? But at the back of your mind, you would, you would start questioning it because mm -hmm. someone else questioned you. So yeah. I think that's where you start thinking about it like deeply or like thinking about more absurd stuff that could exist. True, true. And what do you think kills imagination? What kills imagination? Um, Being too smart. No, I wouldn't say that. Like, uh, if, you think, if, you th if you think you're too smart, oh, I have if a PhD in physics, I know it's not think, possible. If like. you think that you're smart, not being smart, but like, if you think you are, hmm? can, like, if you think you are, it would yeah. just like give you this, you think like, oh, I know everything already. Like, we don't know stuff, because, like... I think there's something to be said of just, like, you saying F it, and just doing whatever the hell, and, like, okay, you say you say it's wrong, okay, no, I'll just see and find out. Um, and that could be in many ways. Yeah. And, like, that, 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 there's no, there's no, um, it's not a coincidence that a lot of physics stuff, they happen at a really young age at a, yeah. in people's lives. A lot of old physicists say they don't make any improvement or contributions. Right. Or people who start startups, right? Different thing. But in a way, it's still similar. Well, like, they just, do you think they know everything when they're like, or like Zuckerberg? Do you think he knew everything about building a company like that? No. no. But suddenly so you just have to jump. And so if you have a PhD in physics, 
probably less likely to make a. I feel like people also use the words right and wrong, right, wrong, possible, impossible very recklessly. Because, mm. like, I w as we've seen um, over time, like, some stuff in, like, the 80s um, that people would say, oh, this is wrong. That stuff is, like, now, like, it's now, like, right now. Or, like, let's say people saying, oh, this is going to be impossible. Like, no human will ever achieve this. And then people achieve it. So, like, once you, like, realize that and uh, it just, like, opens up your mind and removes it from this restricted kind of mentality where you, where you just, like, go with, like, what... It's like a herd mentality where everybody's like, oh, this is this and this is that. But, like, if you stop thinking that way, uh, I don't know, just, like, it's like this mental breakthrough mm. and this freedom of thought. So... I definitely hear what you guys are saying, yeah. yeah that's, what's clo that's what clogs imagination, in yeah. my opinion. Just, sp like, spending time... It's like when they tell you something, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Just like, with it, yeah. yeah like you don't question having, it Like, not bit. having the little thing in your brain, like, is that but true? But why, or, like, like, but like what, what's, what's going on here, about? yeah. And, like, of course, yeah. Like, who would have thought, like, 1800s, like, we would ever go to the moon? Yeah, it would, they, would, they would have been like, oh, you're crazy or something. Right, like, let's, like the person who, who pioneered um, like the Saturn V rocket, right? Mm -hmm. the, the German engineer who built it. Um, who, like, people would have thought he's crazy when he, when he just said, okay, I'm going to build something. Um, I, I, have, I know something that can get us to the moon. Yeah, right. Everybody's like, uh, right. what is he saying? Because yeah. no one has ever done that before. But... Over time, he just proved right, yeah. and everyone started believing in him. Eventually, so, yeah. Right. So I mean, so you or, did, like NASA literally. He was like a he was like part of the Nazis and everything. He um, literally they forget all of that and just like he started working on NASA like like that. <laughs> he was actually part of the Nazis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, Von Braun. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was a, a German scientist. He was uncertain mm -hmm. how much he was, or maybe he wasn't in it for the money or any stuff like that. But he was definitely part of it. Like regardless. Yeah. Because. I mean, Maybe it could make sense. I don't know. I'm not saying anything. Because he needed the money from the government to, like, make the experiments and everything. So I'm not saying he was or he wasn't, but we don't know, right? But the truth of the fact is he was in Germany. He was a supporter or not or whatever. Yeah. He was part of that. And he came to the U.S. The U.S. literally brought him here. And he made us some really cool stuff with NASA. And that's, that's another thing is that, like, the first time you, like, attempt to um, go in that direction... You're not, remember, you're stepping away from the herd mentality. So, like, you're, st you're going to step out and stand out. Mm -hmm. And you might appear crazy to, like, everybody else. Yeah. And I feel like what keeps a lot of people in the herd is that they're afraid to appear different. Mm -hmm. So that's another big factor. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I think it's interesting because a lot of people, like for me, right? Like, mm -hmm. I actually, like, I just... I don't. I, I just. I don't. I don't care, right? And like, yeah. there's like this. There has to be some insane incentive part that like that gets you to be out. Yeah. Because like at some point, like okay, I don't care. Like, like you, I don't. You know. just have like, not like, to care. Something want to do. Right? That's like, what I'm saying. Like, but like, how do you in get that, in that? Like, herd, how, how do you get people not to care? Or like, why do I not care? People love the safety of like. Mm -hmm. About like why why don't I do? I guess that, that's, I don't. I don't get it. Like, for me, I don't get it. Why don't you care? That's the question only you can answer. Not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta. I don't know if you don't know it now. You gotta find it, or you probably know it. I don't know. Like I, Why I do definitely you can't care? tell what you Well, I don't care. know because, like, I think, <laughs> I think a lot of the good things in life, it just, mm -hmm. they come from first doing what you want, and then sometimes when, when, when you're doing what you want, thinking what you want, thinking for yourself. At but some like, point, see, you're gonna be like outside of the spectrum. Like you realize that, but like, see, you realize that for yourself. And maybe a lot of people haven't re realized that. Well, like, yet. even if you know that, yeah. like the the pressure, it's like the pressure of, of keep, keeping you there, is a lot stronger than you. It's even though you you know this is true for a fact, that pressure of being part of this group, yeah, will not make you do the things you actually want to do. And I could give you a lot of examples, like people who have jobs they don't like. Yeah. Or you know they they many excuses right whatever right, yeah. but in in or people who like do stuff like I don't know jobs that are like 
that are kind of like you know out there and I mean I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to say the name but oh, um, be, be be okay like be no no I'm, I'm completely okay he he knows what I'm talking about but um, I don't know what you're talking about I don't know what you're like, talking about like you know like some jobs right like you know a lot of engineering people here right yeah and like a lot of them they just you know they study engineering math and physics and like and they end up doing powerpoints for their jobs but oh like just throwing powerpoints at work <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah like yeah. the presentations and stuff yeah. like that. You know what I'm talking about or not? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I love consulting stuff and like stuff like that. Like, I get it. That's part of the thing, you know. But, like, if they didn't pay you as much, would you actually be doing that? And, like, if you actually care about the engineering part, would no. you actually be doing that? I, they probably would I wouldn't. doubt it. Yeah. But why are they doing it? Well, because everyone seems to be doing, like, this thing. Like, everyone wants this thing. Everyone yeah. wants this position. And, like, I know some people. Yeah, there's, there's some clubs here, and, like, they sign, like, an ND, NDL? NDA. NDA and, like, What's that all, about? It's a non-disclosure agreement. Uh -huh. So you work with a company and they're like private and it's like this big deal. Mm -hmm. In reality, it's a bunch of BS. Mm -hmm. You're not doing really anything. But it's a, but yeah, it's just so this big hype. And you can get falling into that, right? So it's, it's, it's an interesting question, right? Because you don't know if you're there. I might be there, right? I may, maybe not in there, but in a different bubble or something. A right. different group of people. Yeah, a lot of people just... I guess, I guess a lot of it. Like, we, we are part of something we don't even know. Yeah, we're just, like, part of, like, we just, a lot of people just, like, go with the flow. Because, like, I mean, bro, you're born and you end up in school and you're like, why am I here? They're like, oh, you got to learn. That's the reason they give you. They're like, okay. Like, as a kid, I, I would have wanted to ask the question, um, first of all, what is learning? What am I learning about? And why am I learning this? Why does it have to go this way? You would have been slapped and sent back to home. Exactly. But like, so you, you just like <laughs> yeah. go through this pattern of like, okay, now you've graduated elementary. You've yeah, got to yeah. go to high school. And like, if you ask those questions, yeah. people will hate you. Exactly. Like with a passion. Or they just give you, see, I feel like they give you like reasons that are not they're not like that's not the real answer definitely yeah, like, yeah, yeah. for for most of those those questions it's like oh you got to do this and like you got to have a career and uh what else yeah that's it like so many things we're not, we're not even aware of yeah, like, like just now we're talking but why do you have your hands like this is it because it's a social norm or i feel i feel like it's uh it's a behavioral regardless right regardless rate, yeah. you just how or like you did this <laughs> right. Why? I, I I didn't do that, you know. Like right, you just did it. He's like, it's just part of. Just, it was subconsciously. Maybe right. Maybe yeah. It was right. like premeditate. Like it just happened. But I don't think something I think a lot about is like, okay, let's let's say you take a human, and just like not put it with the other humans, and uh -huh. like you see what this person ends up being like. What do you, you take another human? Like a thought experiment. I'm not doing this in real life. Come uh -huh. on, man. A thought experiment. You take a human, and you just leave it. Like just leave it. What would happen? Would okay, I, I go with you. Like, not leave it and like, like, oh, like, like you know, a, give it food and everything else. Like just, a young child. Like an artificial thing, right? Like a, like a simulation in a way. You don't think about it that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, But Boom. like, you take a kid. It's, it's a thought experiment. We're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not actually going to take kids. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just a thought Whatever. Yeah, it's a thought experiment. You just like leave him there, like leave him be. And yeah, then, and you see what happens. But where where would you leave him? Well, don't him? worry about it. We're not, we're not worrying about this little time. It doesn't matter. You <laughs> see what happens. Uh -huh. Like, how would he react? Like, if they were to say, hi, how, how are you, like... What would you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So. Um, no idea. I know. I mean, like, that's crazy. Like, see, like, that's yeah. A, that's, such an, that's such an interesting question. Like, who we are now is, like, the sum of all these small things that we've been taught and, like, conditioned throughout, like, from childhood. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say you're in class, right? And I say, one, David, pay attention. What will you do? So see, yeah, right, you like, you like get very tense and like. Yeah, but why? Like, that's, that's, that doesn't that's mean I'm saying, you're like, like more why, focused. Why do you become tense when in reality it doesn't like make you more focused? Like, mm -hmm. why do your muscles react that way to someone saying like, oh, pay attention? Or, like, when, you, when they tend to like lie down on the floor, you know you have like the safety of the floor and that like, you're not going to fall down, but, like. For those first, I don't know, five, ten seconds to get like comfortable, your muscles are going to be tense as well. So, see, there's that tension and anxiety I feel that like 
is as a result of um, how we've been conditioned that we don't even know, uh, that we don't even notice about ourselves. It's a bunch of uh, so. four loops and if statements. Exactly. No better way to put it. <laughs> yeah. So. It kind of is, isn't it? It is. You took CS101, right, or something, right? I took CS101. That's that's something I know. Python. And then, yeah, like. Tam. I don't know. We, we could go on and on, to be honest, about all this questioning and stuff. But at the end of the day, I feel like, like, it's the system or the environment we've been put in. It's like too complex. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't say change it. Of course, it can be changed and stuff, but like only to some extent. I feel like you can, what you can do is like put yourself in an advantageous position where you can have more impact and whereby the actions and the steps you take can have like more influence or make, make more change. That is, as a person who is like, who has a lot of questions and um, who is like interested in like making necessary change, like change for the better. Do you get what I'm saying? Making the world a better place. That's that's a long reach to be honest, but every Silicon Valley yeah. startup making, making the world a better place. That's that's our motto. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean like every company is like making the world a better place. Or you ask anyone, oh, like, what do you want to do? Oh, I want to help people. They all say that. But why do you want to help people? Yeah, no, no, no. But like, when you ask, it's like the right answer. It's like, oh, like, what, what do you want to do after you graduate? Oh, I want to do this, but I want to help people. Like, I want to help people. They, everyone says that. I can literally go out and like mm. do an experiment. People would say that. Oh, I want to help people. Like, listen, I used to say that too. I probably say it all the time. Yeah. Who knows? But uh, you would say, oh, I want to help people. Yeah, I want to help people. I'm like, but why? It's, it's just, it's just yeah. the right answer. Like, is it the right answer? You yeah. say it, people would like it. I feel like if people were really honest with, like, like the whys. I, they're, they're not lying, right? They're not lying. I don't think they're lying at all. No, like, honest, like, deeply, deeply honest. Like, like why? What makes them say that? That's the real, that's, that, that's the real question. Like, because, like, why do, why do you actually, like, Okay, help people. It's, it's just the politically correct or like it is the right answer, right, by society. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't like that like years ago or whatever. Like, how was it like? No, I don't know. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. But just you seems like the right answer. People just say it. Right. It's like, oh, why do you want to do engineering? Oh yeah, because you know, like math and science. I was I was a smart kid, and so yeah, want to do it. In reality, why are you doing it? Probably because not not you, but uh -huh. in general. Not say that same exact stuff. But maybe it's because, just, you know, everyone says engineering pay, pays good, pays well, whatever. Yeah. Is it actually true? You might be in for a surprise. But you know, yeah. you got an internship, you know, you know what it is. What, what, why do you want to do engineering? But, like, listen, you're more than engineering, so I'll ask you a different question. Why am I doing why, engineering? Why, no, 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 why, why, why do you write books? What? Why do you write books? Well, we, t we talked about it already, man. I have a short-term memory. Oh, but, really? Yeah. Well, I just told you, man. Like, in high school, uh -huh. I got here from the from Venezuela, and right. then you see, I can't remember, you know, I had to leave, literally had nothing, barely enough food to eat, like, literally nothing. Mm. And I see people, they have everything, yet they're depressed, they don't want it, they're not excited for the future, and like, I don't get it. So the book was an action, like a wake-up call. Yeah, like, a, like a call, like, you know, you don't, you don't have to be like this. Like, the future's good, the world's good, life's good. It's, it's not bad. Why, why are you depressed? I don't know. Because, like, you have everything. You don't, you don't have anything that makes you excited. You've been going to school. You've, you've been have, you, you, you haven't had your own thoughts ever in your life. Everything is given to you. Here, do this. Stupid shows, TV, social media. Like, oh, uh, you're like, you're not, you're not even awake. You're, like, sleeping. Not even wait. That's true. So, but life is actually exciting. It's mm -hmm. good. Like, it's exciting. Like, once you know no, what it, life it is, is about, like, exciting. holy, 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 holy. Like, it's amazing. It's uh -huh. amazing. What's amazing about life? 
Like, you're talking to you right now. Like, what? Like, We're all bothered. No, like, in general, it's yeah. just like, imagine the things you can do. Like, with the internet, you can talk to anyone. Okay. Or, like, if I want to, like, so something I have in a project right now, I have, I want to figure out a way to fly to my classes. Like, fly. Like, literally fly. Another thing um, <laughs> I forgot to talk about was... Uh, do you have an agenda or something? Or? The way we've been preconditioned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Like, I'm coming out with my whole, whole ass movement. Just wait for it. Anyway, uh, the way we've been preconditioned to look forward <laughs> for the future. Look mm -hmm. forward to the future. Yeah. Let's say you're... Um, I use this example a lot. You're in elementary. You're, like, you're looking forward to like finish elementary, right? And go into the next stage. Mm-hmm. In high school, like, oh, I can't wait to graduate and get out of here. Like, notice how a lot of people say that. Like, I they, can't they wait. Don't, they don't like what they're doing. They don't like their life. Yeah. So, like, a lot of people forget to live in the present and live either in the future or the past. They're like, oh, take me back to 2010 when life was better. Life was like this. Or like this. Like, yeah. oh, I can't wait. Because, I, I mean, I see this a lot. I don't know if you guys see this. A lot of people are like, Oh, uh, I'm so frustrated with this degree and stuff. I cannot wait to finish university. But like in high school, you're like, I can't wait to go to college. Like, make it make sense, you know? Like, there's a certain point in your life when you wish for this, and now that you're here, um, you're not really appreciating it. You know, exactly. So a lot of people don't live in the present. They're just like looking forward to like, like when you get to, people get to class, they're like, okay. We have 50 more minutes to, like, finish class. Class gets done. Yeah. And you go f to the next. It's, it's just, like, this pattern. It's a cycle. Yeah, I feel like we've been preconditioned to, like, look forward to the future that we have um, lost the ability to just, like, embrace the present. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty out there, man. You might get canceled for saying this. <laughs> Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I would say it's also a lot of, like, regurgitating of what just people around you are saying, right? That too, yeah. Like, if you're, like, if you're in a group of friends who are just complaining about college. All the time. Right. Then you are. You're definitely going to, like, eventually, yeah. you're going to be like, oh. But if you're not, like, what would you even, that's not even a thought. Yeah. Yeah. So. Then you, then you start thinking about it like they are. You, you don't look at it from the perspective you want to look at it from. Yeah. And you just condition, like you said. So I guess a lot of it goes down to, like, surrounding yourself with the right people, too. It matters a lot. Yeah. That's why I surround myself with you, so I can get my prayer and done. <laughs> yes, sir. No, that's why I surround myself around, because, like, bro, you're an inspiration, like, who do you, many people. Who do you surround with? Like, who do you surround yourself with? Like, legit. Civil engineers. Okay, but, like... Who do you actually surround with? Civil engineers. Okay, like who? Like tell me, like you, you don't have to say names, but like, what do they think? What are they like? Uh, oh, okay, uh, who do I surround myself with? Uh, I thought you knew. What happened? What happened? I do know. Okay. Do I though? I'm I'm surrounding I'm surrounding myself with you guys okay, right now. Okay, but so. like I don't. That's for now. But that's for now. Yeah. The power Trying to live in the present. Along what? Yeah, the president is now, so I'm surrounding myself around you guys. That's cute. <laughs> I don't know, but like, for real, I spend majority of my day with uh, engineers. Don't you think that's like messed up? No, I mean, like, like how about I wake other up, people? Like, you don't know them, man. I wake up, uh, like missing out. go to class. Like a bot. Uh, let, let, let's go through a random routine. I wake up, go to class. Oh, you have a routine? Uh, I'll probably do homework with a friend who's doing the same, taking the same class as me because we're doing homework together. So, like, definitely the same uh, major. Um, I don't know. I'll go to the gym with uh, my gym bro. I'm just, I'm giving gym the, <laughs> I'm giving the type of people I surround myself with. All right, all right. Uh, Wait, else? so are you ever by yourself? Of course, of course. How do you, what do you, th how do you when, think about yourself when you're by yourself? When, what do you think of? When I'm by myself, I... When you're by yourself, 
with yourself. What do you think about yourself? That's a good question. I need my lawyer for this. I don't know. Like, forget about us. You're deep in a room, dark. What do you think Why of yourself? dark? Well, because like, you, you cannot see anything. No distractions. No distractions. I've never done that, so. Well, imagine it. Imagination, I... man, come on. Like, what do you think of yourself, like, mm. truly? Because when, a lot of the times when, when we're with people, we usually take what we think they think of us, which is not That's our, what we project. No, it's not our self-assessment. Right. And it's like we do it, like we do. Yeah. Like when I act with him, it's like I act differently with him than I act with you. It's just like a thing. And you too, and you too, like you guys act differently with different people. Like it's a thing, whatever. Right. But your self thing, like yourself. Uh-huh. Your, self, your, your, your sense of self, like w- w- what's that? I don't know. I would say, that like first of all, what are you afraid of? What makes you nervous? Damn, exposing my secrets on national TV. I'm afraid of bugs. Now, nah, actually, I'm not afraid of bugs. I would say I'm afraid of uh, slimy things, so like snakes, eels. That's a surface thing. Just yeah. We're going deep. Deep how? Like, what do you mean deep? Like, like you're in a, like he said, like you're in a room by yourself, right? You you wouldn't think, okay, I'm scared. Of he fun. knows, but he doesn't want to tell me. Do I? I think you do. I I, you I don't you think be I real do. with me, bro. Be legit. I'm being real with you. Like, like bugs are very disgusting. Like what? Something like that? No, like, like that is scared. Like not as scares you, like in the sense of like, oh, but more like, damn, yeah. like I'm living and like what's gonna happen or like I'm scared of this. Like for me, I don't know. Like sometimes I can't sleep because I'm thinking of like. Like, I don't know, the other day, you know, like, the, the bus, the MTV stuff? On Easter, they didn't work. Mm. So something I was thinking about is, like, okay, on Easter, they get paid without working. So is that something? <laughs> it's hilarious. Is that something? So on Easter, right, the drivers mm-hmm. did not work. But they got, they got paid. Right? Make sense? Okay. Right. So what I was thinking would be, would drivers change their behaviors to put their shifts on a Sunday, so they know every year they get paid without working. And then I was thinking, okay, if that's true, how could you accommodate? How could you still pay their people so that they don't have to like move their shifts around too much? So they wouldn't. So they would. They would. They would be less inclined to pick Sunday, because you know, in, on Easter they don't work. They would get free money. Okay. You, you really thought about that? Yeah, like deeply, wow. man. I couldn't sleep about it. So like, that's okay. crazy. That's not a thing. Like, honestly, I don't know. Like, what I've right. been thinking about a lot. Of course, I do spend time alone, <laughs> alone because you you asking like people I do spend time with. I do spend time alone with myself as well. But like, generally on a scope, like nine out of ten, like majority of the week, I would do spend my uh, a lot of time with like engineers, like fellow majors. I have my one friend, he's um, in mechanical, we do homework together. That's cute. So, yeah, majority of the time, those are the people I surround myself with. Uh, when I'm alone, uh, right now I've been thinking a lot about, like, so my internship is in Indiana, I'm just thinking about how I'm, like, going to move there and, like, live alone. Am I excited for it? Genuinely, I am... Um, oh, no. Uh, why is that? I'm just nervous because it's going to be a whole ass new experience moving to a different state what are you excited all. like is that something that makes you like oh hell yeah I want to do it like I would do it regardless of pay okay I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing yes about yes or no li- no listen so about, why are you doing it listen I'm, I'm, I'm no, just no like legit why are you doing it listen I'm telling you I'm no, telling I want to hear your stories like why are you doing listen, it listen listen the excitement curve from ever since I was like a child to like now like okay but there has to be a thing that gets you it's, excited it's just no like what. going it's like, there are like, things that get me excited. It's no like going what. down, like right now, like it's to the point where. Isn't that a sign? A sign of what? Something. Like, of oh, something. Of what? I, I still do get excited about stuff. No, no, no. About I'm talking about the internship in there. Here, internship. You said you're not excited. It's an it. it's a nervous kind of excitement. Listen, did, these people they're not gonna see this thing. They don't have the time to like watch out an hour thing. I'm not telling because of so, those people. I'm telling like that. As it's it's so like why like. 
You, it's like I, the listen, same. It's like listen, the same feeling I had before I came here. I this, was like, this isn't personal. But you told me that you wanted to do airport stuff, like planes and stuff. Is it, is it true? Yeah, and that's what I'm going to do. Is that what you're doing in Indiana? Yeah. Like, that's what you do? <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind then. Oh. Well, that's it. I mean, uh, yeah, I thought I think you were doing something else. So. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But, like, it's it's like the like, same kind of like still, you do? nervous feeling that you have. Like, I was like, like when I first came here, I was like, oh. I'm going to college, like, it's going to be so exciting, but, like, at the same time, like, oh, what do I expect? It's just, like, that, I don't know how to describe that feeling. Excited, but scared at the same time. Sure. You are a big man, man. So, a big man. Got You go to the gym. Smart guy. What, what does going to the gym mean? I don't know, you got some muscles, so. You got muscles too. Bro, we were studying one time in the ISR and in the middle of a study session, he just like drops down and does like 20 push-ups. I'm like, okay. I you believe him. You don't remember that. Wait, why, why would I do that? That's oh, what you, we were studying together? Or not? We, we're in the garage. But you like sit in your own. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I do that because sometimes I'm tired. If, I, if I'm trying to wake myself up, I just... Move so when up. you're tired, you do something that makes yeah. people Would you not? more tired. No, that's not true. What, what would it make you more tired? That gives you more energy. It requires strength to do Okay, but it, it wakes you up. It gives you more energy. Like, if I'm tired, I'm not going to go watch Netflix. I, I, would, I would just go to sleep. Right. Turn down for what? <laughs> Listen, we, we, we like to ask a question. You're young, but I'm still going to ask you. What advice would you give young people? Maybe high school people in college, freshmen, whatever. Don't do drugs. You know, they're driven, they're motivated. Or what should they ignore? Don't do drugs. Now, on the real, though, uh... <laughs> It, it takes a while to get to get stuff off, uh, out from you. Really? Yeah, it takes a little. I got like a little hard shell. You think so? Just like him. Yeah, I mean everyone does. But. Now, bro, he—you can never tell when he's serious or not. Like he goes, he does this thing where he like his unserious, then his serious, then his unserious, to a point where you're like, you're just confused. Exactly. That's a pretty smart tactic. You want people <laughs> to get to know the real one, David. Why is that? Why are you protective? No <laughs> Look, he turned the table. <laughs> he turned the table. Did I? We're not turning the table. We're, we're not. We're table. not turning any tables. I'm just a asking a question. I don't know. It's probably some su subconscious stuff. Who knows? Subconscious stuff. Like, who knows? I don't know. There's people like, oh, you have people. They probably people who said like, oh, you have trouble connecting with people and stuff like that. But like, maybe right? I don't know. Like, is that true? I don't know. Do you think you have trouble connecting with people? Maybe I just I don't think there's I just I don't think I care that much. Does it like how, how so, do you feel some people they need they they have this need of having friends. I don't give a shit. Like I just don't care. I I, I would be as comfortable as just like being in the library by myself reading books or like. Would coding. you say that makes you antisocial? Is that a bad thing? Like I could be with people like yeah. no problem. I could also be with myself. I don't I don't I don't care. But some people they they have this sense of like you need to be with people. And for some people, that's like, oh, you're, you're like, you're not having, you have trouble connecting with people. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, maybe that, maybe that you're saying that, right? But, yeah. So you're saying you don't like people? That's not really what I said. And you know that. <laughs> I know, I just play with you. So do you like people? I, I, just, I just said it. Yeah. All right. Is it, is it, if it's part of life, you have to like it. You have to enjoy it. People are part of life. What do you enjoy most about life here at U of I, per se? U of I? Yeah. Oh, man, it's a good time. Uh... Because, like, you're going to spend the majority of the next four, two years now here. Well, you don't have, you spend it, but, like, not mentally. Mentally, you could be anywhere. That's the beauty of the Internet. You don't have to be here. I don't have, I don't have to talk to you. <laughs> if you're here next to me, I can talk to you. Yeah. Whoever want to talk to you. Me mentally... Where, where do you spend most of your time? Mentally? I don't know. Like, I don't know. So Austin, Silicon Valley or something. I don't know. Why Silicon Valley? Or like, no, it's uh, just people out, random people, right? I don't know. But yeah. usually people who are like thinking about that stuff. 
of building things. What about you? Mentally, where you spend most of your time? Mentally? Yeah. Um, for myself, um, I would say thinking about the future. I spend a lot of time thinking about the future, right? Um, doing that, uh, I would say I like. I, I like planning things early. I cannot, I'm not good at just yeah. winging it, right? I, right? I plan my day at the beginning. He gets mad if you, if you I wing I mean, just like go with it till, till the end. Do I you mean, go with I'm it? not like... Do you find trouble like maintaining that sometimes? It is, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm never following my schedule. Oh, yeah. I like think of something, but something always comes up that will make sure that this, it doesn't happen that way, something right? Anything can happen, right? Yeah. Right. So like, the simulator is just messing with your forward loops. Yeah. Like, after the class, you're just talking with the professor, maybe, and that went too long. And maybe you plan, you were planning, okay, I'm planning on eating lunch in this hour. But now you just lost that hour. Yeah. Right? Like, it could be anything. I, how do you feel when that happens? Man. No. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say mad. Irritated. No. Uh, you, you do get a little... I, I've, no, uh, like, that fisty. happens to me a lot where I can, like, I, I plan my day out, and the moment something just, like, goes sideways, like, ah! Exactly. I think that if I'm, if of what I did, like, otherwise, if I'm gaining more value from it, if I gained more value from it than what I was planning on doing, then I would be, I would be more than happy. But life, right, can, life cannot just be about getting the most value of everything. Then what is it about? You're max. You're trying to maximize. Why? What? Why? Because it. That cannot be life. It, it makes you maximizing it. everything. What? What? Like that's the, life cannot just be about like calculus <laughs> thing of no, maximizing. No, what everything. is it? What no is, is, is it about? Then? That. I'm saying. And just living. You are living, but you're enjoying what you're living. Well, like enjoying. Okay. Not okay. Maximizing. Would you? Would you rather talk about time travel for thirty minutes or watch a Netflix show and eat your dinner? Because who you ask? I don't no, care. No, I'm asking you. Whatever it is. Like for me, that would if be... If you had the choice. It's, okay, but why would I watch... I don't watch next. I don't have no, Netflix. No, let's, let's forget so that's that you, you watch... You <laughs> so watch. Like, See how you voice the question. I only <laughs> have one option, which is to talk about train travel. Time, so like, you have, damn, boom. You done. have two options, time travel But the, the option you were talking about, okay, you have the professor and you have the lunch. The professor, I don't care if I'm hungry. I just don't eat, whatever. Right, exactly. But like, if I'm eating, like, I'll eat. So like... you. You can actually be like, or or if you have a bad conversation with someone who stopped you a Granger, or like you were walking this person you yeah, don't like, you stop you and like the, the bad conversation. And like they, they made you like lay or something. That's you annoying. You cannot be mad about it because exactly. first it already happened, and you, second, you don't know this person. Like you don't know. That's what I'm saying. You like cannot this, be mad. This, this person just like could be helping or somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. But that's what I'm saying. Like it reaches a point where, like getting like, I mean, you just like don't even get irritated anymore because like you're like that's happened and like this is now like what am i going to do to like you know like what what what's let's say you're late for class are you nihilistic what's nihilistic what's nihilistic nihilistic means that um you don't <laughs> not like nothing really matters it's like mentality oh, yeah. i would say i'm nonchalant nonchalant yeah what the hell is that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not, what the hell? What, what are you saying here, man? It's like, okay, listen. Let's say you're late for class, <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, did, did, did you just make that up like that? No, I didn't. A nonchalant or something? No, He's explaining it. Let him explain. Let's say you're late for class, right? Okay. And like, no, no, okay. Like you guys were saying, like, you're walking to class and somebody stops you, Granger, somebody. I'm going to do that next time. See. You don't really want to talk to, right? And, like, you have a conversation with them, and then it's ended, and now you're late for class. Getting irritated is not going to change the situation. It's, like, not going to make you early for class or anything. The only thing that's oh. left to do is just go for class. I know you are. You are a stoic. Are you into stoicism I'm, 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 I, I did read some stuff on stoicism. Uh, but I'm not, I got I'm, you, man. I'm not, like, a devout stoic or anything like that, you know. That's that's a good mentality to have, like what you just said. Yeah. Like you you enjoy that conversation, you don't regret it. 
So why why be upset about it? Yeah, like just just go for class. You're gonna be late. Like it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. You didn't answer the Netflix question though. Why? I just said it. You didn't answer. All right. That. Okay, okay. Anyway, some things sound. I feel like some things sound better in our head than they actually do sound. No, because you you hype it up to yourself. Who hypes it up? Your brain. Your brain hypes up. Your brain. Your brain. Well, like why why does your brain hype it up? Well, it doesn't. But like, it just they, they just want to have like your brain is going to be more or something. Like, you just want to have the most exciting. I think. Because like, I don't, eating food sounds good. Are you hungry? I am pretty hungry. Okay. Yeah, it's not, so it sounds good, Wait, right? Do you not eat lunch? What? Oh, you ate, you ate lunch, yeah. Sounds good. You want food? Let's see. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't use my food. I can't use my food. Watching TV sounds good. It's like those two things combined you know, together. Yeah, you're good, though. Because I ask you stuff and you just, like, give tea talking. That's, that's hilarious. Because cause I'm not done yet. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, if he likes a question, he, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't, he's just like, oh, yeah, okay, anyway. And like, that's like, like, that's cunning. That's slight. Yeah, because like your brain combines those two exciting activities. He's there again. And makes them <laughs> more exciting. So, especially when you're doing something that you don't usually like. Like, let's say you're like in grades, you're like grinding it out, and some math problem is just like kicking your ass. You could, like, you could be like, oh, I could be in bed right now, just like Think watching what? TV. Like, no, it's just like, see, it's just like a. Okay, okay. Mental thing, I feel like. Yeah, it's a, I yeah. think it's very personal. Like, whatever gives that person value or just gives them happiness. Yeah. It could be different for different people. So, would you rather. Anyway, you're not going to answer the question, so. Hmm? Say it. Time travel and Netflix and food. Well, if I need, if I, if I, if I need to physically if. eat, uh -huh. I would need to. If I need to physically to survive in mode, of course, eating. That's true. But if any, if if you have the, the three things, okay, you have the chance to figure out chain travel, like of course, like this. Yeah. Not even like this. Not even of course. That's the thing. You, yeah. you, you, more value. Not more value. You think you're that, exciting. And that, I think but that is you, you, you could just lose. And then you're like, you is life lose. all about value? It's like, not. Actually, I I get for me it's not. But you can just do everything. About, so are you nihilistic? You're still un like subconsciously. <laughs> <laughs> How do you listen to hell, man? Like, okay, you never explained it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he said like some weird stuff, like oh, I'm sure noble or something. Like sure. I'm 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 gonna search it up. Maybe I said it the wrong way. Like sure and something. He never explained it. He's like, oh, you're in a classroom. And he's like completely got our way. <laughs> you're both bouncing questions he's, off of. He's clever, he's man. Just turning the table. He's like, I ask, I ask him something. And he's well, just listen, like, oh yeah, because it's, it's this. Unchalant. <laughs> That's the word. Rept reptilian? Maybe I said the wrong. Nonchalant. Just. Let me see. I'm not cool with this. I don't think it, I don't think it's like pretty pretty out there, man. I don't know. No. I don't know. Like that's the move. So, at the end of our shows, we have a section called. Overrated. Follow me on TikTok. Or oh no, not that yet. I just see Kanye. Overrated and an underrated. Uh huh. So you, I ask you something, I say a statement or something, and you, underrated or underrated. Oh yeah. If time for one. Go. I'm trying to go. Then. Go. You, you said you said I won. No, I'm saying go. I'm oh. saying I we have time for one. Oh. Okay, so you get one then. This would be a good one. Go ahead. All right. I'm definitely going to be brutally honest, so let's go. <clears throat> Spending time by yourself. I feel like it's underrated. Okay, everyone would say that. It's just, it's the, correct, it's just the right answer. If you, say, if you say the opposite, you're like... True. Uh, but it is underrated. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Chelsea, underrated or overrated? Right now, uh... Oh, no, 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 not Chelsea. Manchester United. Overrated. You don't like it? Wait, who do you like? 
That's I support Manchester United. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Ronaldo, overrated, underrated, underrated, overrated. He's well appreciated. Is there in between between overrated and underrated? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, he's he's like he gets the respect he deserves or whatever. Okay. Yeah. That's Rated fair. rightly, yeah. Uganda's government. <laughs> That's funny. Overrated. Overrated. Quickly, why? The most corrupt government on planet Earth. I'm exaggerating, but like they're pretty corrupt. Everett. It's a nice place. Uh, I would say it is underrated. Civil engineering internship pay. <laughs> Very good. Who's, who's internship? Mine? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Mine definitely underrated. Oh, why? I know. Why Why do you think you should, you should be paid more? Just because you're smart and engineer guy? Nah. No. One, no one cares. Because I bring more value to the firm. One last. Pray learn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just funny because like, we don't... Do you overrated. have like a like a like a TikTok or something with all your prayer learns? If no. not, you should because we need to show that. You just, no, damn. I don't. Like you should. I think screenshots and like my replies and like. Well, I just like I just made that professor story because like I just want to. Like, Is it private? Yeah. Because do you have a public one? Okay. I got a public <laughs> story. Yeah. Okay. Question. Uh. Prayer learn underrated, overrated. It is. In terms of what. Just add a software. I don't know, as a software? <laughs> as you doing it for your Snapchat, man. I feel like as a software, it's a pretty good software. Like, it's, it's, it does what it does. <laughs> like, you get your homework done, like, exams and quizzes. I think it's pretty, like, there's no, I have no problem with it or anything. Sure. Yeah. All right, man. We had a lot of fun. I good luck. hope you liked it. I did. For right, anyone watching, if you have any questions for Jesse, um, Please put them in the comments. I'm sure you, you had a, as as much fun as we did having all these conversations about time travel. The yeah, future. Time, yeah, that was good, man. The time travel was, yeah. was, it was good. It was it was a dumb thing. You, it, yeah. you you were joking, right? But like, it turned out to be really good. Yeah, don't. That was the highlight of the whole conversation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stay curious, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. I cut. <laughs>